District Governor John here coming to you again today with another District Governor's vlog. The idea with these vlogs is to share out what's happening, what's important in the district and to talk to some great people who are running uh, different aspects of what we do at the district level. And today I have, you may be able to tell from my logo behind me, uh, we're going to be talking about Polio Plus. And uh, today I have a past district governor, John May, with us today uh, as our Polio Plus chair for the district. Uh, and he's going to be talking about some great things. But first, John, tell us, uh, introduce yourself, tell people who may not have met you, you know, what you do when you're not doing rotary, and then uh, maybe share a little bit about what's happening with polio. Thanks, John. Well, I'm John May, and I'm past district governor and was district governor in 2018 and 19. And like a lot of people nowadays, I've been spending time at home. So I, I either work in my yard or go bike riding, or sometimes I'm hiking, but things I can do pretty much without a lot of people around. So, you know, it's been, um, it's been a different kind of a uh, summer for me, but like everybody else, it's been different and we've learned to adjust to it. And, uh, so that's kind of what I've been doing lately. Um, but you know, Rotary is one thing that's always part of my life. And uh, so I enjoy working with that when, I'm, when I don't have other things to do. So today, really, uh, you, I'm really, you mentioned the Polio Plus Society. That is really my now initiative, is really to help us launch this uh, initiative within our district to raise additional funds for polio eradication. The, uh, if you haven't heard already, the, the Rotary International and the Rotary Foundation had some great news this past week. They announced that Africa region, the African region, uh, primarily Nigeria has been declared uh, polio free. And that is a major accomplishment for everyone in Rotary and our partners throughout the world that have helped us do this. And now we're down to really only two countries left to eradicate the polio and that's Afghanistan and Pakistan. That is absolutely an amazing announcement they came out with. Um, and that's a that's three years, right? Is that three yeah, years they, that they, they have been, been they were been free of polio any wild polio cases the past three years? And the last time a country was declared polio free was in 2014, and that was India. Their last case was in 2011. They had waited three years, and then so it's we waited six years now to be able to announce this this next uh, polio free area. Just amazing testimony to all the hard work that's being done by, you know, Rotarians and you're right, other organizations around the world just trying to to eradicate polio. It, it just, it's just awesome. You can tell in, in Holger's uh, announcement, the video that we posted on our Facebook page, you can tell how excited he was to be able to make that announcement. It, it's awesome. Okay. And thanks to a lot of work of Rotarians really within our district, who have been generous over the years, uh, probably the, the past 30 years, and helping us raise money to support the eradication initiative throughout the world. Yeah, so to that point, um, October is World Polio Month, right? October 24th, World Polio Correct. Day. And we've got some things we wanna talk about here in the district, right? Yeah. So really within, you know, this is really the time for us to, as appropriate time to be launching our Polio Plus Society. So really, you know, I'll just give you a little brief thing about the Polio Plus Society. And really it's, it's an initiative that, in, you know, we're trying to ask Rotarians to join us. Rotarians who are willing to donate at least $100 a year uh, to the Polio Plus Fund and the Rotary Foundation until we're able to declare the world is polio free. So it's really a $100 a year, a little, over, a little less than $10 a month which is really not a lot. And uh, you know, we think that that is a, a, a major initiative for helping us to increase our contributions to the Rotary Foundation for this initiative. But you know, uh, other than that, there are a lot of other opportunities for Rotarians in our district to help participate and promote uh, the polio eradication. But wait, John, before you go on, what do they get when they donate their hundred dollars? When they get, they get a pin that's on the screen right behind you that, that recognizes them for being a Polio Plus Society donor. You mean this pin right here? 
Wait, that pin right there. Right that one? there the one you're pointing at. Fruitarians now. love to have pins, so that's awesome. Yeah, we had that designed and uh, we have a supply of them in and we're ready to, to ship them out to uh, uh, Rotarians who will join us in making this commitment to Polio Plus. We are super excited about this particular initiative this year. You know, if we get even 20% of our district to offer $100 more than what they've normally given, that is so much money. Because remember, the money that we raise goes to help eradicate polio. And, and so we're very excited about this uh, this particular initiative. John, is anybody matching this money? And the, the Gates Foundation continues to match what we raised two to one. Two to one. So your $100 gets matched to $200. So it gets a $300 donation to the Rotary Eradication Initiative. So just incredible, right? So let's see, a uh, couple of thousand people in the district times uh, well, if you take 20% of that, that's 400 people at $100 a piece times three. That's an awful lot of money that we would be giving. Yeah. $12,000. So, so that's awesome. What else are we doing? Now, in the past, we've done something called Pints for Polio, right? Yeah, we've done for a number of years the Pints of Polio. It started with uh, Asterisk and Governor Una Martone's year, and we continue that uh, throughout the district. and. You know, this year, uh, since people are not gathering together like we did in the past, you know, some people may be able to do virtual events like this. Uh, you know, I think it's really trying to how do you adjust and adapt to the new environment that we're in. But Polio, the Pints for Polio is an initiative uh, we've had in, when I was uh, district governor. I know some clubs started the thing where they wanted to do uh, pints of ice cream for polio. So you go out to, uh, and you can social distance at an ice cream place and, and have ice cream and enjoy it, enjoy, uh, enjoy that and donate money to. Uh, it's a great way to engage the kids and the families and, and teach them a little bit about why we're raising money for this cause because the kids, you know, they haven't been exposed to polio maybe in, in their lifetimes. So. You know, the if you think, if people who are old enough can think back about when, this country polio was a, was an issue in the United States. It's fairly much like you're seeing with the pandemic today. You know, families were concerned about sending their kids out in the summer to play, to swim, and things such as that. You know, afraid they would catch the polio virus, and uh, we find the same thing going on now with just a different kind of virus. Scary, but yeah, you know, we've had an increase this year, right, John? I mean, we had, uh, unfortunately, because money had to be diverted, we've had a little bit of an increase in the cases of polio in the two countries that still have it. Yeah, we have, and those two, those the, the cases have gone up, and we will submit. I will be giving some numbers periodically in the district reporter uh -huh. about where we stand in those two countries on on the polio cases, so we can keep it, you know, in front of everybody's. Uh, and help them let us, you know, kind of watch where we're going and what initiatives right. are right. Can we in those two countries. They are the hardest two countries probably to deal with mm -hmm. because there's been a lot of unrest there. Yeah. But, you know, talking about October being uh, polio month and mm -hmm. how we can do it, there's opportunities for clubs to do things such as, uh, you know, I, I think John Cramman had a thing at one time talked about promoting a takeout polio. Mm -hmm. where you pay, you, con you contribute the amount you would do for a takeout meal to the Rotary Foundation for Polio. And that's an easy thing to do. And mm -hmm. you know, we're not having meetings, uh, club meetings. We're not paying for our lunches or dinners or, or whatever we were doing. So we have really some extra money that all of us could put in to help eradicate polio. That's uh, one, I one, I one idea. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. So you have, uh... Polio Plus Society, you have pints for polio, you have, and that could be beer pints or ice cream pints or other things. Donate a meal. I mean, that's fantastic where you, you donate the money. You would have paid for the meal towards it, especially since we're not having meetings. People may be able to do that now. Right. We'd love to know, too. Uh, I know you have other ideas. We, at the district level, we'd love to know what clubs are doing so that we can advertise it and others can maybe participate. If there are actual events, I would try to put it on my calendar to even come on out and have a couple ice cream with somebody. We love to have them send uh, the information of what their plans are for the uh, 
you know, October for Polio, World Polio Day to the district, and we will uh, do it and, and kind of promote it within the other clubs and things such as that. Fantastic. Anything else that you want to talk about today? No, yeah, I'm just very excited. Um, I'm excited, you know, to launch the Polio Plus Society in our district, and I'm excited about the good news we came from, from the eradication of uh, polio in Africa. So yeah, uh, couldn't be more excited at the district level and across the world. It's the, all the conversation and a lot of meetings I'm having with other district governors and around the world, um, big, big news. And I am so glad that we happen to be launching this particular initiative at this particular moment in time where we can really have an impact on taking this thing out entirely. So thank you so much, district, past District Governor John, for leading the way with polio this year for us and making, uh, making our success possible this year, helping to make our success possible this year. Thank you, John. It's my pleasure. And for those of you, uh, thanks for joining us uh, on another Governor's Vlog. Uh, keep an eye out for more of these as they come. And if you have a uh, something that's happening in your club or an event or a service project that you'd like to talk about, I'd love to do a vlog with you uh, to talk about it, to get it out to the rest of the district and the world. So feel free to reach out to me directly. Have yourself a fantastic rest of your day.